is up my crafty friends my name is Carrie and I'm so excited that you're joining me for this video today whether it's your first visit to my channel or you're a returning subscriber I want to say welcome my friend I'm so excited to share today's video with you because y'all we get to play around with the Cricut Explore Air 2 I've never had a Cricut I've never played around with Cricut I've never even used their design software so if you want to see how user-friendly it is for a very first timer like myself keep watching this video I'm also going to show you how I quickly made five projects for this video if you're not already subscribed to my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because y'all I will let you in on a little secret I've got a giveaway coming up with Cricut very soon and if you've got those notifications turned on you're gonna be one of the first ones to find out about it okay y'all before we get started I want to say a big thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and yeah let's jump right in I am so in love with the color of my Cricut Explore Air 2 it is the mint green color and y'all I'm totally in love look at all of the storage that this thing has got not only do you have a handy slot for all of your tools you've also got a little pocket here that holds your blades and also another little pocket here that you can hold more tools this Cricut Explore Air 2 has got two slots one is slot A for holding your markers and also your scoring tool and slot B is where your blade goes. One thing I love about this machine is this handy dandy dial. You've got your custom setting as well as your normal everyday settings. You've got your unload and load button and also your Cricut button to start your cutting. Not only do we have sticky vinyl to play around with, we've also got some everyday iron-on vinyl as well. We've also got a strong, a light, and a regular standard grip mat. And look at this handy dandy little paper cutter. I cannot wait to use this because I'm gonna have straight lines for once. Yay! And y'all, I love all of the tools that Cricut sent me to use. This little scraper I do love, but I know that I've seen the big scraper as well, so I think I need to pick that up. The one thing that I'm super excited to use are these infusible ink markers and also the infusible ink transfer sheets. You're gonna be able to use these items to make coasters and tote bags and lots of fun stuff that are infusible ink compatible. And y'all look at this gorgeous machine. Isn't she a beauty? Okay, let's get started y'all. I picked up these items at my local Dollar Tree and these are just some signs and also some wood cutouts and wait until you see the fall decor that I transformed these into. And our first project is gonna be our wooden pumpkin. Now this is gonna be a dual sided fall decor and also Halloween decor. So the first thing I did was just to type in the word boo into my design space and I found this groovy looking little graphic that was already done and all I had to do was to unlock it and get it to the size that I needed and that was pretty much it. Now we're going to go on to the other side. So I want the other side of my wooden pumpkin to say happy fall y'all. So I'm just going to type that into my design space, find the color that I want and of course I want mine to be turquoise. We're going to unlock it and now resize it to the size that it needs. And these are the two sides for my wood pumpkin. I'm going to send these in to make it and now you can see my two matte colors and all that's left to do is to hit make it. And y'all look at the pretty turquoise. The one thing I like about the Cricut vinyl is that you can flip it over on the back and you've got a nice grit so when you're cutting you know it's going to be straight. And there she goes my very first cut using my Cricut Explore Air 2 y'all oh my goodness I'm so excited okay here is our little double-sided pumpkin here I did go ahead and string these up on some wooden beads just so I would have a pretty little set of farmhouse beads that are reversible for fall and Halloween. Moving on to project number two, I've got this cute little porcelain sign. This is a double-sided sign, so of course I'm going to make another double-sided project. So 
So I'm just going to type in pumpkin farm because I do want to put this little sign beside my little truck that I made. So I found the graphic that I liked. We're going to unlock it and we're going to make everything black. Now I'll be totally honest because I'm brand new to the Cricut design space. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but I have not figured that out yet, but I'm sure I will if there is an easier way. So I just changed everything to black and I'm gonna resize it there. And I don't really need the s'mores and the other words that are really tiny down at the bottom, but I don't know how to take that out. So I'm just gonna leave it there and just pull it out whenever I weed it out. So the next one I'm gonna do is gonna say October the 31st. And now both of these are ready to go to make. Everything is gonna be black for this. So now all we have to do is to cut. Okay, and here is this cute little sign. Isn't that precious? I love it. So easy. Moving on to project number three, I've got my pumpkin spice sign that is gonna go right beside my coffee bar. And for this one, I'm gonna use this happy Halloween sign from the Dollar Tree. I picked out my pumpkin spice and Jesus Christ from the design space. And now I wanna ungroup this and I want to change my banner to turquoise. I just wanna make sure this is the color scheme that I wanna use and I do love this. So now I'm just gonna send it to the cutter and here we are. Look how simple that was. I did paint the back side of my sign and yeah, this little project was so easy. Okay, now for project number four, I've got a fall banner. I'm gonna find fall banner in my design space and I kind of like this one. And I'm just gonna use cardstock to cut this out. So I'm gonna ungroup it. I'm gonna change everything to my orange cardstock. And now I want to make the words the same color as my top layer because I will be pulling out that color so the orange can come through. And whoops, I forgot to group those two L's together. Now, there we go. Now it's ready to cut. And look how cute this little banner is. Isn't that precious? I love it on the little camper that I made. And y'all moving on to project number five. This is our last project and this is gonna be another double-sided project. So this is gonna be the little burlap sign from the Dollar Tree. And I do want something pumpkin spice to go on my little tiered tray that's in my coffee bar. So I found this cute little pumpkin spice junkie sign. And I'm just gonna unlock it and resize it to the size I need. And I'm gonna change my color to black because I do want this to be all black. Gotta get the size just right. And y'all, I'm getting a little bit brave. I'm gonna try to make a custom graphic for the other side. For this one, I want to make a coffee cup first. So I just type in coffee cup into design space. And I really like the way this one looks. And now I wanna add a skull and crossbones to that. So I'm gonna put my skull and crossbones in there and I'm gonna change this to white just so I can see what it looks like. And now I'm gonna unlock and resize it. And y'all, this is gonna be so stinking cute. Okay, now I'm gonna go to my text. And I'm gonna say pick your, and I'm gonna pick my font. Now I'll move that above my coffee cup. And now I'm gonna say poison. And I love this font. I'll resize that so that it fits on the bottom. And isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? Now I will group this together and then I'm gonna slice it and yeah. So stinking cute. Now, this little burlap sign, I will make double-sided, but I'm gonna make the pumpkin spice to go on the inside. So to do that, I'm needing to have a four by four piece of paper, and what better way to get super straight edges than to use my Cricut paper cutter. That 
that was almost too easy. Okay, and y'all, it's a perfect fit. So I've got everything weeded out and I've got my pumpkin spice junkie and all I did was to use my glue stick to attach it. And now we're ready for the other side. I just used my butter knife to flip over that sign and those little things just pop right out. And now I put on my pick your poison and y'all this project is done too. Isn't that cute? It looks so adorable in my tiered tray. And now I've got my fall decor as well as my Halloween. I love, love, love it. Okay, y'all, I know we zipped through these DIYs super quick, but I promise I'm gonna come back with more detailed projects and do step-by-step -step instructions. But I just wanted to show y'all how easy this machine was to use straight out of the box. Now, this machine can cut over 100 different materials, and y'all, that's just mind-blowing to me. So besides the obvious like vinyl and paper and glitter paper and cardstock, y'all, this thing can also cut fabric and poster board and bonded burlap and canvas and even faux leather and suede and one thing that i'm really excited about using it for is stencil film i love 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 stencils the value that you're going to get for your investment with this cricut is just out of this world you can make your own personalized decor for your home and y'all the possibilities are just endless one other thing about the Cricut Design Space is they have a mobile app for your phone. So y'all, this means you can literally design and make stuff for your Cricut from anywhere at all. How awesome is that? That does it for today's video, y'all. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up because that will mean the world to me. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button down below and make sure you turn on all those notifications because I'm going to give you a little hint at a video that is going to be upcoming. Y'all, I'm going to be giving away a Cricut Explore Air 2 in an upcoming video. So you're going to want to make sure you've got all those notifications turned on so you don't miss out on that video. I do want to again thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video and I'm so excited to get to know the software even more and the possibilities are going to be completely and totally endless. It just opens up a whole new world as far as designing and crafting and DIYing and y'all that just makes my little heart so so happy. But y'all even for a first timer like me it's super easy to use straight out of the box. So yeah that does it for this video. Until next time happy DIYing y'all.